Is that a Linux computer in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? We've got the Yogi Firestick Pico on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in Henderson, Nevada, overlooking Las Vegas, where it's a nice, cool 114 degrees. But enough of that heat. Let's get on with the tech. If you've been with the show for a while, you know that a while back we did a special on the Yogi security products, specifically on their Pico and Gatekeeper Pro. They were security devices that had a a unique design, and that was to take a Linux computer, a full-featured Linux computer, shrink it down into the size of a flash drive or into a deck of cards, and to offload all of the security functions from your computer, including your anti-spam, anti-malware, anti-phishing, and firewall. The idea was good. The execution was good, and we gave them very high marks for what they did because, you know, they they just worked properly. But there was one glaring problem, and that was price. You see, at $160 to $250, they weren't really priced for the end-user type consumer. I mean, they were more than great for anyone who had a business account, but if this was something that you were going to run on your laptop or on your desktop, you just wanted something to be able to throw in the bag, that was a little bit on the pricey side, especially when you consider that many of the functions that those two devices contained, which were your, your uh, antivirus, anti-spam, were duplicated by products that were already installed on your computer. Well, this year at CES 2008, Yogi came out with a new product that was supposed to fill the gap, to to sort of acknowledge that there are a lot of people who like their antivirus or their anti-spam, and yet wanted to get something that they could offload, something that could make their, their computers even more secure from attack. And that's where we get the Yogi Firestick Pico. Now, if this looks like the Pico Pro, that's because they share the same format. I mean, this is just a different color. This is a miniaturized Linux computer that fits into a package that looks like a flash drive. The The main difference is that this is sort of a, a downgrade. It has a 300 megahertz processor as opposed to the 500 plus that was in the Pico Pro. It has about 32 megabytes of active memory, whereas in the Pico Pro you had 256. This has 4 megabytes of storage as opposed to 8. But it doesn't really need all that firepower because it's removing all of those excess functions, all of the anti-spam, all of the anti-phishing, all of the VPN stuff, and instead just retains a really good solid firewall. So, we've had a couple of weeks to play with this, and this is what we found. Though it may look like a USB flash drive, the Yogi Firestick Pico is actually a miniature USB-powered Linux computer The Firestick builds on the hardware platform proven by the original Yogi Pico, which has the same firewall features of the Firestick, but adds built-in hardware support for additional security programs like antivirus, spam, and phishing. The Firestick weighs little more than half an ounce and is powered by a 321 MHz Intel X-Scale CPU. The Firestick has two physically separate flash memory banks, a 4 MB bank that stores a read-only non-corruptible copy of the operating system, and a 32 megabyte flash memory bank that acts as the active workspace during Firestick operation. This configuration protects the device against corruption or virus attack. Should the kernel be compromised for any reason, the Firestick will simply reload the OS from the primary memory partition the next time the device is booted. The Firestick works by separating your computer from your network connection. The Yogi driver and control console routes all network traffic through the Firestick before it gets to you. This means that external attacks, probes, and other network badness is exposed and filtered on a computer that is physically separated from your desktop or laptop. One of the added benefits of this protection scheme is that it doesn't matter if you're using Wi-Fi, 3G, Ethernet, or any other network connection. They are all protected by the Fire Stick. Using the Fire Stick is easy. Plug the device into your computer and run the included software package. The installation is completely automated 
and you will soon find the Yogi icon in your status menu. Clicking the icon will bring you into the Firestick user interface, an easy to use and intuitive control panel that will allow you to set up the Firestick as desired. The Firestick menus look much like the menus of the Pico Pro, but are greatly simplified since the Firestick is only handling firewall functions. You get an at a glance status screen that shows you current risk level and firewall events, a graphical representation of logs, network status and settings, system info, basic network tools, and the like. One of the nice things about the interface is that it is tweakable by those who are experienced with network administration, but immediately usable by those who are not. In our lab test, the Firestick was able to screen out the most popular attacks like port scanning, IP spoofing, and DDoS runs, as well as more esoteric attacks that managed to sneak past the XP and Vista firewalls. The Firestick actually stealths your system, making it virtually undetectable in a network. One of the big selling points of the original Pico Pro was that the offloading of firewall, antivirus, and anti-spam functions made for better system performance and battery life in laptops. Naturally, the effects will be greatly reduced in systems using the Firestick since it offloads only the firewall, but we did see performance in power gains. Running the Firestick on a Gateway M151X running Windows Vista extended the average battery life during typical usage by about 8%. Using the Fire Stick on a Dell D410 sub notebook running Windows XP added 15% to total runtime. We noticed that the CPU usage on the D410 was markedly less than normal, meaning that the battery longevity was most probably due to the Fire Stick offloading the less efficient XP firewall functions from the main CPU, allowing it to run at lower speeds and power states. The Yogi Fire Stick Pico is compatible with Windows XP and Vista and it comes bundled with desktop antivirus software. The Yogi Firestick is available now online for about $90. Once again, we're very impressed with Yogi's quality. This thing did everything that we expected it to do. I mean, essentially, it is the Pico Pro without the antivirus features, and that showed. I mean, they've, they've refined the interface, they've made it a little bit better, they've, they've They've made it so that this has survived attacks that brought down much more expensive firewalls. And it does it as a, at a fraction of the cost, at a fraction of the power consumption, and in a form factor that really is sort of plug and forget. It's something that you could use if you were going on a trip and you, you wanted to give to a, a business partner so to make sure that their computers don't get infected so that when they bring them back, you don't infect the entire network. That being said, there are a few big downfalls. The first is something that it shares with the Pico Pro, and that is because it is a USB device, you are kind of at the mercy of your USB interface. If you're going to be using it for Wi-Fi, just to protect your computer while you're at a Starbucks to uh, connect to a, a random Wi-Fi hotspot, then yeah, this is fine. But if you think you're going to be plugging in your gigabit Ethernet and getting a great throughput, that's just not going to happen. I mean, again, like the Pico uh, Pro, we found that anytime we had to do big transfers, lots of gigabytes, we had to pull this out and disable the firewall so that we could get the full throughput. That could be a problem if you are doing a lot of transfers, but you know, for most of us, it's still okay. I think the biggest problem that we found was the price point. You see, this definitely is cheaper than the Pico Pro or the Gatekeeper. You're looking at right now 130 to maybe 200 and some dollars for those products. But uh, this runs about 80 to 90, which is less. But the question is, is it worth not going that little extra distance, paying that little extra more to get the, the much better protection of the Pico Pro or the Gateway? And that's really something that you're going to decide. If you want full featured protection, if you want something that's really going to offload your CPU, then you're going to want to go with one of those solutions. But if those are too expensive, and if that's going to keep you out of the security arena, if that's going to keep you from securing your computer, then yeah, absolutely, take a look at the Yogi Fire Stick. Now, you can take a look at all their products at their website at www.yogi.com, and that includes the new PC card that they've just re released that incorporates all their same technologies in a, an even better format. It just shows you that Yogi is continually trying to integrate their products into different form factors and hopefully into different manufacturers' notebooks so that we can see their technology getting more widespread. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. 
If you want to find out more about the Yogi Fire Stick Pico or any of the other products that we've reviewed on Gadget, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links to all of our episodes in high resolution, as well as our blog and our written reviews. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been Henderson, Nevada. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.